What's up, you guys? Good morning. Oh my goodness, it has, I woke up, had an awesome morning this morning, crushed my goal, hit one of my, one of my goals that I had in place to um, get a second promotion on, you know, my CBD business. So super, super excited about that. Yes. So how are you guys doing this morning? It is the end of April. I feel like this year has just been such a crazy year um, to where it's just all over the place, right? I don't even know how you can even like explain this year so far, but other than it is like all over the place. What's up, Jen Craycroft? How are you this morning? Oh, so I'm excited. I'm pumped. I, you guys don't know what this means for me. Like, um, it means more money, <laughs> which is perfect timing. So, um, I miss you too, Jen. I miss you too. I can't wait to just give you a really, really big hug. I have a feeling when I see people and I give them hugs, like all, especially all my ladies that I'm used to seeing multiple times a week, is I feel like I'm just gonna hug them and I'm just not gonna let go oh, for a really long time. So, um, I miss you so much, Jen. I really do. Um, so you guys, today on Des's Daily Dose, I actually wanted to talk about, so I haven't even had a chance to listen to any YouTube videos yet this morning because I, I got up and um, was just looking at my numbers. I'm texting my, my one of my leaders, uh, putting together Facebook posts, trying to now see who on my team um, is crushing their goals too. So starting to do all that. So um, it has been just an exciting, filled morning of um, work stuff right away. So that's why I actually wanted to talk today about crushing goals because if you look at like how I'm talking and the excitement that I have, it's obviously super rewarding, right? Aloha, Beth. I know. See. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so, we're going to be hugging so hard, Jen. People are going to be like, whew, I think there might be something else going on there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Brittany right here. So Brittany just jumped on. You guys, I shared her video yesterday, and you guys have to, you guys really have to watch it. I had the opportunity of meeting this amazing woman um, at last year's uh, convention, and she's on our team, and she has such a powerful story. Uh, it's because of her story is why it keeps me going every single day it, to keep on pushing this because she's just one person that felt the way that she felt back in the day. And going forward now, like, and thinking about how many other people actually are feeling that same thing that she felt a while ago, you know? And I'm not gonna sit here and tell her story, um, but you guys, she told it and I shared her video yesterday, so you can go back to my newsfeed and um, watch it. But it is a very powerful story. And I remember the first time that she told that story to us at the, con the conference last year, it really touched my heart. And um, you know, most of you guys know, I lost my first husband to um, suicide and um, when somebody is really gets to a state of depression it's really hard to pull yourself out of and so um, I just have a heart for people that just feel like they're lost and um, because it really doesn't have to be that way it really doesn't and sorry trying to get all serious now <laughs> but it, it there is hope there is hope and um, so if you ever are feeling that way, please reach out to me. Reach out to Brittany. She can share her story with you. She can give you hope because she is like changing her life around. And it's just, it's just a really amazing, amazing, amazing story. But we would not be feeling like the way that we feel now, like as in just alive. That's the best way I can explain it for at least for me. It's like I feel more alive. I feel like more of the person that was like trapped inside trying to get out. And I think that's too, it kind of goes hand in hand with like a little bit of um, depression for other people too. 
is, you know, CBD actually, with a good CBD, <laughs> it actually makes you feel like the real person that has, you have been meaning to be for God knows how long. So I'm just gonna leave right there. <laughs> but let's go talking about crushing goals because this is our main topic today about crushing goals and the reward that comes along with it. When you know that you are working so hard to achieve a goal and you actually meet that goal, it is the, the best feeling that you could possibly ever imagine. But you have to ask yourself, because if you're having a hard time hitting your goals, really, how much time and effort, how much, how much work and sacrifice are you putting into that every single day? Good morning, Paulina. Good morning, Jessica. So, this is why I practice and I preach every single day. Fill your mind with positive stuff. Start your day with this. You know, you heard that speech. I've been sharing it with you um, about that um, Navy SEAL guy about making your bed every single morning. This all starts with habits. So, Make sure you're working on those habits that are crushing your goals every single day. Make sure you have that goal in place. Some people work better on short-term goals. Some people work better on long-term goals. For me, I'm a short-term goal, but I do kind of have like an insight of a long-term goal. So, but if you constantly are looking at that small-term goal, whether it's to lose 10 pounds or to like for me to achieve a certain business rank for my business. So there, everybody has a different goal, but you have to constantly be looking at that and you have to write it down. What are your wants? What is it that you want to accomplish? Because you're not gonna be able to accomplish it if you don't constantly see it, right? Because you need that reminder constantly, every single day, right in front of your face, about getting out there, okay, I need to work on that. So if I see like my goal, my goal for this um, past month was to hit 25K in one of my businesses. And um, so what that means is um, 25 business volume in sales. So, or 25,000 business volume in sales. And, um, you know, watching my numbers every single day, making sure I have my eyes set on the prize. I'm getting closer and closer and closer. I'm hitting everybody up, but I'm trying to do it in a way to where I'm not like, it's all about me. <laughs> and so yesterday I'm like, who wants to help me out? Because I'm just like right there. I do have another, I have one other business goal for my um, online shopping business that I'm trying to make that happen today. But unfortunately, I'm as far as I can get in that part. It's just having to need somebody else to, to do their part. So um, yeah, super exciting, super exciting. Just like this kind of stuff is just fun, right? And I can tell you guys, with having to close our gym down, um, we haven't gotten any government help. We've And we've had clients that have left us. And thank God for these side businesses that I have because they have been paying my bills. <laughs> they have been paying our bills. They're putting, keeping food on the table because we still have to all our gym expenses that we have to pay every single month. But we don't have trainers that training out of there anymore. That so they don't pay. You know, we have luckily we ha we are blessed and we have some amazing clients that have still stuck by us and um, just doing their virtual workouts. But you know, life is really really crazy, and I'm kind of one of those people that. You always have to have something. I am, I guess you want, I would call myself a dabbler, <laughs> if you guys know what that means. And I've been like this for a long time, even before I got into businesses by myself. Um, you know, being an entrepreneur, when I worked for a corporate office, I made sure that I positioned myself to where I was dabbling in every single department so that way there's no way that they're gonna get rid of me. <laughs> and because I just like to know things. So I like to know things, I like challenges, I like to work with everybody. And so that's exactly why I do all these businesses too. So you know, I have a personal trainer, we have the gym business, we, and then I have like three um, online businesses. So, and I manage our, I started a, um, 
a clothing and a cat business for our CBD uh, team. So I manage that too. So it's a lot of stuff and I got four kids, but you know what? I just put my oh, mind to it. Gosh. I'm crushing it. I'm working hard every single day to live closer to the dreams and the things that I want in life. Good morning, Claudia. What's up, Michael? Hey, Michelle. Hey, Haley. Nice to see you on here. Hope you guys are doing well. Good morning, Heather. So crushing goals, making sure that you have your eye on the prize every single day. You are doing something every single day to hit those goals, right? But remember, everything starts in the morning. How you start your day is how successful and proactive and everything that you're gonna be achieving, the success for the day, your mind, your attitude, like everything. It all comes about how you start your morning. And so this is why I'm doing these in the morning. This is why I plug into my stuff in the morning, on my the YouTube videos. This is why I write down my affirmations and my goals, what I'm grateful for every single day is because it's a great way to wake up. It's a great reminder of the things that I am blessed. So no matter what this stinky, <laughs> was about to cuss there, uh, stinky situation is that's going on, you know, with having to close the gym and everything and um, just everybody being locked in their homes. Like you just have to make the best out of every situation. It is all about how your mind treats the situations going on around you. I know that I will not let the things that I cannot control affect my attitude. And so I think that's super important because if there's something that I can't control, why am I gonna get so worked up with it, worked up about it? I'm just gonna just ride out the waves, I'm just gonna chill, I'm just gonna go with the flow because that's all that you really can do because Having a pissed off attitude is not gonna change anything, right? Other than ruin your day, ruin everybody's day that's around you. So that's my two cents for today. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you are in the same type of business as me and it's like close out, you are pumping towards your goals, I wish you the very, very best. You got this. Crank it out is the last day. And because any goal that you want, you can achieve, but you've got to work on it every single day. All right. I have faith in you. You got to have faith in yourself and you got this. So I hope you guys have an awesome one. I'll see you tomorrow, um, Friday on another Desus Daily Dose. Thank you, Beth. Um, you guys have a good one. I will find a YouTube video, so I still will drop one in the comments here, but have a great day. Start writing down those affirmations and the things you're grateful for right now. So love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.